welcome to Journeyman, a brand new series where we take you to the vast world of football to find those small little stories that you may not have heard that makes the beautiful game what it is. Now today we are somewhere very, very special. Where are we, Michael? We are at Not County Football Club, one of the most historic clubs in the entire world. Now sadly this year they were relegated from League 2 into the National League, losing their status as the oldest football league club on the planet. We're here to see how the fans are coping with it, how the players and staff are feeling about it and how the club is rebuilding itself for a new era. Let's go. Why did we travel all the way up to Nottingham to visit this specific club? Established in 1862 and one of the founding members of the Football League, Notts County are one of the oldest football clubs in the world. They won the FA Cup back in 1894, their black and white striped kit inspired Juventus and in 157 years they had never been relegated out of the professional league system. Entering such a historic stadium, we thought of no better person to speak to first than Les Brad, County County's all-time top scorer and club ambassador. So obviously around all this kind of lovely memorabilia, kind of Notts County history, and obviously you're, you're a big part of Notts County history. What, what first brought you to the club? I was playing for Rotherham United yeah. um, at the time, and um, we had drawn Not uh, Notts County in the first round of the League Cup, and I scored the goal for Rotherham that beat Notts County out here 1-0. A month later, the manager from Notts County came chasing me at Rotherham. I came here and probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in, in my life. Not only has he found the net more than anyone else at Meadow Lane, but he also played during the club's most famous era under legendary manager Jimmy Cyril, who took them from the fourth division to the top flights during two highly successful spells in charge, helping write one of English football's great underdog stories. My feelings are he educated into be, us into what being a professional footballer meant. And it wasn't going out there playing football, it was going out there doing a job. It was the camaraderie, and that was what the, the manager developed. He, he put together a group that was infallible, really. You know, we could go and beat anybody, and that's, that's how we couldn't wait for the games to come. Obviously, that's the man I've been talking about, yeah. Jimmy Cyril, the, the man that took this football club from four to three to two to one. Well, you can understand why his story. Have you seen the statue outside we of have, the ground? Yeah, yeah, we had a look. Yeah, it's a yeah. lovely statue. It's, that's the supporters of the club mm. got together, set up a fund, and all their own money, hundred and just over a hundred thousand wow. pounds, was raised to to put that statue in place. But over the past twenty years, fans of County have been through more pain than most. In 2003, they went into administration before being saved by money raised by the fans and investors with the Supporters' Trust becoming majority shareholders. Then in 2009, the club underwent a big money takeover by Munto Finance, who promised funds to take them from League Two to the Premier League, and fans saw Sven Goran Eriksson and Sol Campbell turn up at Meadow Lane. But the project turned out to be a scam orchestrated by convicted fraudster Russell King, and the pies were sold for one pound less than a year later after receiving a winding up order. The club came close to liquidation again in 2016, and this year the unthinkable happened. Notts County were relegated to the non-league for the first time in their history. We've had so many um, escapes, and then on the, the, the last match of the season, Macclesfield get a goal, we go finish up losing 3-1 and bang. It was, yeah. it, it's hit everybody with a hammer, and, and the sign that used to say, the oldest football league club up there mm. had to be taken down along with lots and lots of other um, memorabilia. Um, we've lost that, um, that name now. Halfway through the 2018-19 season, with the club staring relegation in the face, Neil Ardley was brought in as manager, replacing the outgoing Harry Kewell. But despite possessing an excellent CV, having got AFC Wimbledon promoted to League One and keeping them there, Ardley sadly couldn't keep knots in the football league. It was tough. Um, when you come to a club like this, there's an expectation with it. Obviously, there was stuff I realised, the, the problems that were there as far as the form and the quality of the team. But, but when you actually get into a club, you start to realise 
you know, just how bad it is. There was a real disconnect between the, the, the players and, and, and the supporters. You, you, you know, you know you've got a task on your hands. We took it to the last game of the season, but we couldn't get there. You know, I'd only had six months at the club, but I had to sort of front it up and, and bear the brunt of that as a manager would, and, and that wasn't easy. This tragedy was compounded by financial disaster, with the club facing a transfer embargo, owing hundreds of thousands of pounds in unpaid tax, and an owner struggling to find a buyer. It wasn't easy for anybody, um, anybody involved, not least the fans, but later on the staff unfortunately went unpaid for a couple of months with, with the club's ownership. Um, in the balance, uh, obviously there were times where many people feared whether or not there'd be a Notts County at all this season. This crisis attracted an amazing response from the local footballing community, with Notts fans raising over £8,000 to help with staff wages, while supporters of rivals Nottingham Forest also made their own generous contribution. As a member of staff, I personally benefited, along with everybody else in the office, from some amazing fundraising. From, from Nottingham Forest, some amazing gestures from Ilkeston Town in terms of donating some of the turnstile proceeds to, to the unpaid staff and also our official supporters association and other supporters, local businesses who were donating toiletries and, and vouchers for, for food and drinks which a lot of people um, were struggling to, to pay for themselves having been unpaid so it really did highlight the you know the, the sort of the strength of the Nottingham community but also the, the level of affection that people hold for Notts County. But just when it seemed like things couldn't get any worse, the club was saved by Danish brothers Christopher and Alexander Reitz, the brains behind Football Radar, one of the world's leading companies for football analysis. They're really genuine people. Um, you know, they've done very well for themselves in, in, in their businesses. They've always wanted to own a football club. This is their dream. When, when we had the photo shoot here on Tuesday, when they stepped out onto the pitch, you know, they, they get goosebumps. They wanted to get a football out and, and, and get playing because they're so passionate. So it's great to have that. When we come to a game, fans, myself, on a Saturday, we all take in about 20, 25% of what actually happens in a game and then form an opinion on it. And that opinion's normally uh, very biased towards the result. You know, oh, we won one nil, must have been okay. And, and, and sometimes it can hide the things and, and vice versa. And these owners are great. You know, we've played very well in a lot of games, in spells of a lot of games, and probably haven't got our just rewards yet. And the owners have noticed that and, and they're okay with that. Um, obviously they want wins, but, but they can see the performance if it continues, will bring wins. There's optimism and, and relief now. Um, but I think as the manager would tell you, it's important that you don't dwell on that too much. And we look at um, trying to get this club back to where it belongs, which is the English Football League, in our opinion. Um, and we're all working hard to do that and trying to, to forget about all the horrible stuff that happened last year. It's great to have the owners alongside us and, and some of their analysis people to, you know, to give us feedback on our performances, on, on what they've seen and, and, and help. You know, it's only going to be a, a plus for me. It can govern what you train and how you train and some of the things you want to look on um, towards a game. And at the moment we feel we've put together a uh, a good team for the league and we think there's a chance if we can build some momentum and get some confidence and get everyone on board and get our home form you know with some with some victories we believe that we can uh, we can do something this year now you've got the lowdown on Notts County let's take a look at what the city has to offer so feeling pretty knackered now I had quite a long day of interviewing got some really good stuff and now we're going to a recommended burger spot I've heard good things and obviously the one and only James Wayne will be carrying out a review. So uh, yeah, let's go on with that. We're here at the original Annie's. I've gone for the buffalo chicken ranch burger. Yes, it's good. I know it sounds weird to say, but a very clean burger. Like, uh, no taste is too overpowering. Uh, nice and peppery, you get the cheese, you get the chili, you get the chicken. I mean, it's a bit harsh to rate it comparing to football ground burgers, but if you're ever in Nottingham, original alleys, amazing, amazing. So obviously couldn't come to Nottingham without trying one of the local beers. And we've come to the ultimate pub in Nottingham, the old trip to Jerusalem, the oldest pub in the whole of England, built into the side of Nottingham Castle. Just had a sip of this, it's really nice. Local pale ale brewed in Nottingham. Really, really good, one of the best beers I've had on the road. So, second day in Nottingham. Um, 
but quite a busy first day, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty hectic. Yeah. Pretty hectic. Had some really good chats with uh, people at Notts County, obviously. Uh, we don't have got really good insight into what Notts County are about as yeah. a club, right? We're going to speak to some fans today before the game. Really excited to go down yeah, and actually yeah. see what the atmosphere is like on match day um, and see what the fans are saying. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, gone with that. See you so what is it like to be a Notts County fan? It's a very emotional roller coaster ride with uh, everything that goes off with her, but um, I'm very proud to be a Notts fan because she's got so much history. So what is it like to be a Notts County fan? Stressful. <laughs> we go through a lot. Um, in 2006, I think we were mo voted the most stressful club to support in a poll and nothing's changed since then. What did it feel like losing Football League status at the end of last season? Um, absolutely devastating, to be honest with you. It wasn't the fact that we were relegated, it was the fact we were going to lose our oldest football league club in the world title. And I, I still can't get my head round that, to be quite honest. The title is something that most Nuts fans are, we're proud of. And um, losing it at Swindon away, it, it was difficult with the match of how it was going down. You know, one minute we're looking good and then next minute they've scored. And, you know, we're down. It's all about just trying to get the club identity back and getting back on track with, with things that are going, you know, apart from that, you know, not sticking through whatever happens, we're fans. I was gutted, honestly gutted, because at the start of the season we bought in, on paper, it looked like we bought in quite a few decent players, but it just didn't click and then it all went to pieces behind the scenes. Three managers in a season, no stability and we all kind of folded like a pack of playing cards. What's the feeling kind of among, amongst the fan base now? And well, I think a lot of people have been a lot more. We've been through the mill. We've really been through the mill, and you know it was an 11th hour sort of save. It's never been as close as it was this time, and I think everybody is just so grateful that the Reeds brothers have come in and took the club on. And they seem to be investing in the right areas. They've paid the staff. They've taken over every promise that they've mentioned so far. They've stuck to. And they've not made any false promises. You know, they're not giving us a five-year plan which is absolutely refreshing. We've just lurched from one disaster to the other, but it looks like there's an actual plan in place now and hopefully we can start moving forward, but it's about, it looks all right behind the scenes, it's now about results on the pitch. That's football, it's a results-based business. Now we've got the fans' perspective, let's get on with the game. I am your burger man. So it wouldn't be a journeyman without a burger review at the ground. Decided to go for the quarter pounder with cheese, four pound, decent price, not too shabby. Gone for a bit of ketchup and American mustard on. My personal favourite combo on a beef burger. So, a bit of onions as well, always appreciate that. So, let's see how it is. Well, that's very good. Very good. We had a clean burger yesterday, we've got a clean burger today. A bit more bun than I would have, you know, liked to have personally, but if you get a half pounder, problem solved. Oh, I've got no complaints, it does taste good. I'm going to have to give this an extremely healthy. Oh, I don't know, three and a half or four. Lean towards four, just because I really like the place. We're going to say four for the burger. Very, very good burger. So, what, 10 minutes gone? What are you think of the game so far? I mean, it's been pretty easy. Halifax have like, had a few good chances, I think, the Nuts County. Had, had the best chance of the game, to be fair. Could have, could have knocked one in just a few moments ago. Two Nuts County players down at the moment and not the best of times. Um, I mean, it's hard to tell at this stage. It's quite an open game, which is what we like to see. And uh, some hope not to uh, push on. Cali were originally struggling a little bit in the first half, first like 15, 20 minutes. And they've really got themselves back into the game. The atmosphere's really lifted as well. Uh, lots of Cali's supporters behind us, like, really, really good voice. Um, what you'd expect to you know, like, Such a dedicated Not too sure how well you can hear me because the fans have been in great voice today. But Captain Doyle has been sent off pretty much straight after half time. Um, it looked doom and gloom for County. Then they just seem to be playing fair. They've changed the tack to uh, number 14. has been the focal point. Has been amazing on the ball and they're 1-0 up. A great goal. Um, that's it. I, it, it's strange to say, but they're playing better with 10 men and then God may it continue. Because uh, fascinating football, really physical. Referee's been awful. But the fans are loving it, you know. They're in a crap situation. Uh, look like they're on the up. Ten men down in this game. The fans are in full voice, so yeah, it's great. 
So the game finished 1-0, a brilliant result considering they basically had 10 men for a whole half. A very resilient performance, I thought. Uh, Michael, what did you think? Yeah, I mean, it was a resilient performance, really entertaining game, and it was really like, it really reflected the club itself, actually. I thought we couldn't have got a better game than this because Notts County themselves are a super resilient club. Like, they've, you know, in the last 15 years, they've been in administration, they've come to the edge of uh, extinction. You know, they've had multiple owners who've not really known what they were doing, um, and yet, the fans are still really optimistic when we spoke to them. Um, everyone we spoke to as well, just, you know, there's, there's, there's a feeling that this club's moving forward under the new ownership, um, despite being out of the Football League for the first time ever. Um, and yeah, just get a really, yeah, just get a really warm, good feeling about this club, real sense of community, obviously. And yeah, just yeah, a lot yeah. of optimism. I don't know what you think, James. I think, yeah, everyone's been very calm. It doesn't feel like they're in the situation, they've, they've been through the situation they have gone through. Um, the staff here have been brilliant. I want to say thank you to the staff. Yeah. Uh, they've been absolutely fantastic, really accommodating, uh, given us more access than we could really have imagined. So thank you very much. Thank you to the fans that have spoken to us. And thank you to Notts County, the players themselves, for delivering an extremely entertaining game. Um, from our point of view, you know, if you like the video, subscribe, uh, comment, all that good stuff. Tell us where we should go next, because I feel that there's a lot of stories to uncover in this series. and. Uh, yeah, we want to uncover them all, so we'll see you on the next journey. See you later.